materials and conductivity. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is electricity and heat? Number two, what are the examples of materials of insulators and conductors? And number three, what are the safety precautions in dealing heat and electricity? What is electricity and heat? Study the illustrations below. Can you say something about it? So based on the pictures that we have, it shows the two forms of energy that are very useful in our daily lives. Heat cooks our food and makes us warm, while electricity allows us to use products that are bought by the technology. What are the similarities and differences of heat and electricity? Let's define one by one. Heat, it is the transfer of thermal energy from higher temperature object to a lower temperature object, while electricity, it is the flow of electrons from one place to another. It is a general term for anything that involves an electrical charge. The similarities of heat and electricity both are forms of energy, and both of them requires conductor or medium to travel. While the differences of these two, heat cannot be converted into other forms of energy while electricity can be converted to heat energy. Aside from that, heat can travel in space while electricity requires metallic object or conductors to pass through. What are the examples of materials of insulators and conductors? Examples of conductors Conduction It is the transfer of heat energy from one substance to another substance through direct contact. Thermal conductivity It is the ability of a material to conduct heat. Thermal conductors Allows heat to flow easily. Examples of conductors of heat Materials that are made out of following metals are good conductors of heat. These are the examples, aluminum, copper, and silver. Electrical conductors. These are materials that allows electricity to pass through easily. Copper, it is the most commonly used conductor and can be seen in most electrical wires. It allows the electricity to pass through from the outlet. Examples of conductors of electricity. Materials that are made out of the following metals are good conductors of electricity. Examples, silver, gold, copper, aluminum, mercury, steel, iron, seawater, concrete, mercury, platinum, brass, bronze, and graphite. Examples of insulators. Insulators. These are the materials that blocks electricity and heat to pass through. Two kinds of insulators. Number one, thermal insulators. And number two, electrical insulators. Both prevent heat and electricity to pass through. Materials that are made out of the following are good insulators of heat and electricity. We have glass, plastic, ceramic, rubber, wood, fabric, paper, cork, and wool. What are the safety precautions in dealing heat and electricity? Precautions in dealing heat and electricity. Number one, always check your electrical line at home. Number two, 
Never put your finger or any metal object in an outlet. Number three, while cooking, use a pot holder in handling hot objects. Number four, check if the handle of the pots are well insulated. Number five, never pull a plug by its cord. Number six, if you're temporarily using extension cords, hide them behind the furniture or use a hide a cord device. You can also put electrical tape over unused plug holes on cords. Number seven, never leave any type of fire or hot appliance unattended. I hope you learn a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.